So you have an arterial bleed that's not amenable to a tourniquet. What you want to do is expose the wound first to actually see what you're dealing with. So you're going to want to carry some shears with you. Once you've done that, I have found the wound. My placement is I like to be towards the heart so that way I can hook and not push with my fingers. You have a lot more strength there. So I'm going to hook into the wound. And as I hook into the wound, I'm going to go towards the heart and then against the bone knowing an the anatomy of the arteries. Once I've done that, I'm going to find the source of the bleed. So once I've found the bleed, I can visually inspect. If I can't visually find it, I'm going to feel for it. Then I'm going to take my gauze and create a power ball by simply wadding up gauze appropriate to the size of the wound. Once I've done that, I'm going to push and replace. So once I do this, I don't want to take pressure off the artery once I've found it. So I'm going to take my power ball, push it over the top of my finger into the wound cavity onto the source of the bleed and hold it right there. So I'm keeping constant directional pressure against the artery this way right here towards the bone. So once I've done that, simply just push and replace methodically. Now you're going to want to panic pack as I call it because there's a lot of blood coming out here. It uh, might be pretty intense, but avoid the urge to just simply shove gauze in this wound needlessly. All right? I'm gonna methodically place this directly onto the artery. And once I've built up a good mound of gauze or a cork on that artery, now I have this cork. I wanna have all this void space around that cork. Uh, filled up with gauze. That way the cork doesn't fall off the wound. So I'm pushing or placing, holding constant pressure against that artery. And now I'm going to work around my finger here. So as you fill in this void space, avoid the temptation to push against where the void space is. Keep that pressure towards the artery. Remember directional pressure, constant. Because if you let up pressure for even just a little bit, the blood is going to find the path of least resistance and it's going to continue to bleed. You'll lose your cork. So I've pushed and replaced. So now you've finished the wound. You're going to continue packing until you have a mound of gauze on top of this wound. That way you can hold pressure using your skeletal structure here. And for standard gauze, you're going to hold pressure for at least five minutes. And then if you have hemostatic gauze that went in first for at least two and a half minutes. And you're holding directional pressure against that artery. After this, you'd apply a pressure bandage.